from San Francisco, it's the Cube covering PagerDuty Summit 2019. Brought to you by PagerDuty. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Jeff Frick here with the Cube. We're at PagerDuty Summit in downtown San Francisco at the Western St. Francis. I think we've just about busted the seams of this beautiful old hotel. Thousand people, fourth conference. We're excited to be here. And the big announcement today is, is around you know, PagerDuty getting closer to the revenue, getting closer to the customer, getting beyond just break, fix, and incident response. And a huge partner, big announcement of that was Zendesk. So we're happy to have today from Zendesk, Luke Benke, the VP of product. Luke, great to see you. Yeah, hey Jeff, thanks for being here. Thanks Absolutely. for having me. Absolutely. So before we get into the announcements and some of the stuff with, uh, with PagerDuty, give us kind of an update on Zendesk. We're all happy to see a Zendesk email in our inbox, that yeah. means someone's working on our, right. working on my customer service Absolutely. issue. But this, you guys are a lot more than that. We are, yeah, thanks for asking. Yeah, so Zendesk started in, you know, in, as a great solution for customer support and solving customer uh, support issues, and we've, we've really expanded recently to think more about the overall customer experience. Uh, and so that means you know, launching more channels where customers can reach out beyond just emails and tickets to live chat and, and messaging and really rich experiences to communicate with your customers. But it also means um, you know, getting into the sales automation world and kind of helping sales and success work together uh, on the whole customer experience and the customer life cycle. And underneath all of it, uh, our, our new Sunshine platform, Zendesk Sunshine, it's a CRM platform that allows you to bring in a ton of information about the customer, you know, the, the products that customer owns, um, you know, how, how you've uh, done business with them across all the different systems you have, right, that you do business with. Some, most companies we talk to have hundreds of different systems that store a little bit of information about the customer. The elusive so, 360 degree? Yeah, I mean, the single view of the customer. <laughs> you know, I talked to a customer recently that said, oh, I have 12 CRMs, like, are you going to be my 13th? And we said, no, you got to bring the right bits of information in to Zendesk in order to make the right kind of actions that you want to take on behalf of that customer, whether it's routing them to the right agent at the right time, whether that's making sure this is a VIP customer that has a, a hot deal with your sales team and you want to alert the sales rep if there's an incident that's affecting that customer open right now, or maybe you want to have a bot experience that really solves a lot of the customer uh, pain with knowing who that customer is, what products they own, et cetera, right? So right. that's really been what we've been trying to do with Sunshine is, is move beyond just customer support into a, a full-blown CRM solution, the, the one, you know, one place where a lot of your customer information can live okay. to deliver that experience. Okay, so then we've got PagerDuty, so PagerDuty's keeping track of, of more incidents, not necessarily customer problems yeah. per se, but system, system incidents and website incidents and all these things. Yeah. How does that system of record interface with your system of record yeah. to get a one plus one makes three. That's it, I mean, so you know, if PagerDuty is the, the source of truth, where your DevOps team and your developers and your product team are when there's an incident, you know, I've been part of this. Uh, unfortunately, we've, you know, if we have an incident at Zendesk, I'm, I'm in there as well, kind of understanding what's happening. You know. But what's really missing there is that customer context and who's affected. Uh, you know, and even as good as our monitoring might be, sometimes customers tell us they're having problems uh, or, or the extent of the problems they're having before we've fully been able to dig into it, right? And so taking those two systems, the incident management portal and the customer record and the, the customer communications portal uh, and bringing those two together, you know, it's better for the DevOps teams, they can learn, like maybe we're getting some in insight from the field about exactly who's affected. And it's great for the customer support team because they don't have to sit there tapping the, the engineer on the shoulder, like, have you fixed it yet? Right, what's, right. what's the latest, right. right? They can, right within Zendesk, with the new integration, that, that the PagerDuty Zendesk integration that we, are, that we announced today, uh, right within Zendesk, you know, reps can see, support reps can see exactly what's happening in, in pretty close to real time with that incident so that they can keep customers proactively up to date. You know, before the customer reaches out, I have a problem. You know, they can say, hey, here's the latest. You know, we're working on it. We estimate a fix in this amount of time. Okay, now we've launched a fix. You should start to see things coming back up, right? Okay. Really, that, that's a one plus one equals three sort of okay. situation. It's a two-way communication. It's a two-way writing. Yeah. I'm just curious, how does, it, how does it get mapped? How does uh, this particular Zendesk issue that I just sent in a note that I'm having a problem yeah. get mapped to you know, this particular incident that's being tracked in PagerDuty, we got, you know, a power outage at a, at a 
dis distribution center right. someplace. How do I know those two yeah. are related? So it's a it's a two-way integration, right? So it's installed both into the PagerDuty console as well as into Zendesk support where your agents are. And so uh, you can create, you know, really it's all about the incident number. And so you can create that out of, out of PagerDuty and then start attaching tickets uh, as they come in to that incident. Or a customer support rep could create an incident in PagerDuty right through Zendesk. And so you know, you're really working off of that same information about that incident number. And then you're able to start attaching customers and tickets and other information that your customer support rep has to that incident number. And then you're all working off the same, you know, the same playbook and you're all understanding right. in real time if, if the developers are updating what's happening, the latest, the latest on it, you can sort of see that right in Zendesk and it's, it's all based on that, that incident. So that's got to be a completely different set of data and or you know, kind of power that the customer service agent has yeah. with this whole new kind of data, data set of potential, if not root causes, at least known symptoms. Yeah, exactly, that's right. I mean, you know, part of our job on the product team at Zendesk is to sit with real customers and watch them shadow agents, watch them do their job every day. And it's an amazing, even sometimes I log in and, and actually field tickets myself for Zendesk, and it's an incredible experience to sit there, you log in, and customers just start reaching out to you, and they want answers, they want information, and you know, we, we deliver a lot of automation and, and, and products like that, but still, it's up to that customer support rep to quickly get back to that customer, and so to have some data right in front of them, oh, it looks like this customer uses a certain product, that product is affected by this outage, right? To be able to immediately have that customer support rep kind of alerted, there is an outage, it might be affecting this customer, here's the latest information I can give that customer. You know, that's just less back and forths and round trips that they have to do to solve that customer's problem. Right. And, you know, as customers ourselves, we don't want that. We don't want to have to sit and wait. Or they, do they even know my ticket's open? Do they have an update for me? I've been waiting 20 minutes. You know, to cut that down, to give the agents context, it's, it's huge. It really right. helps them do their job. And of course, the holy grail is to not be reactive, to wait for the ticket, but That's to right. get predictive and even prescriptive. That's it. So where is that kind of in terms of, of your roadmap? How close are we to you know, adding things where we can get ahead, you can yeah. get ahead, the clients can get ahead of, we see this coming down the road, let's get ahead and, yeah. and nip it in the bud before it even becomes a problem. Yeah, I mean, you know, we all are uh, accustomed to whatever the last great experience we had with a company that suddenly just becomes what we expect next. And I think a big trend we're seeing in the last year or two is really customers want to get more proactive. And so uh, we launched the Zendesk Sunshine platform, which is all about bringing more of that data in. And the vision there then is really being able, which a lot of our customers are doing today, you know, they're able to say, I know which customers are using a certain product, and when that product has an issue, send a proactive ticket. You know, before they even reach out to you, we're aware of an issue, you might be seeing these symptoms, here's some troubleshooting advice, and here's our latest update, and we'll keep this ticket up to date We'll keep this conversation up to date as we learn more. You know, customers are already doing that with Zendesk, but you're exactly right. That is, more and more customers are trying to get there because it's becoming expected. You know, customers don't want to have to uh, log in and find that something's down and then try to troubleshoot, unplug, re, you know, figure out maybe it's me, maybe it's them. They want to know, okay, I get it. I can now plan around that. Maybe I'll go have my agents go work on a different, um, you know, updating some knowledge content, or maybe put them on a different channel for a little bit, or move people around depending on what's happening right. in the business. You know, the other thing that that came up in the keynote that I think is pretty interesting that I don't know that people are thinking about is that there's more people that need to know what's going on than just the people tasked with fixing the problem. Yeah. Whether it's account reps, whether it's senior executives, whether it's the the PR team. You know, yeah. depending on the incident, there's a lot of people that aren't directly involved in fixing the incident that still need that information. And that seems like a super valuable asset to go beyond the ticket to yep. a much broader kind of communication of the issue. Yeah, as we actually, as we started to work uh, with PagerDuty on expanding this integration with Zendesk and PagerDuty, we were talking to their team and we both have the same mantra, which is that the customer experience, it's a team sport. You know, it's not just the developers who are trying to fix the problem on behalf of the customers. And it's not just your frontline customer support reps who are fielding all those uh, inquiries, right? It's everybody's job, and, and as you said, the sales rep wants to know what's happening with my top accounts, do I need to get in touch with them, do I need to put in a phone call, 
uh, you know, do I need to uh, alert other teams? Maybe we should stop the marketing campaign that we were about to send because the last thing you want is a buy more stuff email when the site is down. Right. You know? So let's really start to think about this as a team sport. And I think this integration is a really great, uh, you know, how customer support and product and DevOps and, and engineering can kind of work together to deliver a better customer right, experience. Right, right. It's, it's so, it's so, you know, kind of multifaceted. So many things that need to happen based on that really sing, that yeah. single service call, that single transaction. Right. Awesome. Well, Luke, thanks for uh, for sharing the story, and, yeah. and it's great to uh, hear the Zendesk is still doing well. Like we are. I, yeah, I like no. I like Zendesk emails. Like. Fix it, fix it, yeah, fix yeah, yeah. It. No, the next thing that we'll, we'll do is that we'll start to solve your problem before you even have to get that's a Zendesk what, That's email. what I'm looking so forward we'll to. So we'll be working on your behalf even when you're not getting the Okay. Email, so. Well, Luke, thanks again. Yeah, thanks, and, Jeff. Uh, Appreciate great it. Great to see you. All, All right. right, he's Luke. I'm Jeff. You're watching theCUBE. We're at PagerDuty Summit in downtown San Francisco. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.